the question here has got two statements and two conclusions right what do we have to do the usual stuff find out which of these conclusion logically follow the given statements now look at the statements all shells are racks all shells are racks so shells and racks all the shells are racks all racks are not replaceable. so let me say racks are rk and replaceable is rp so all shells are racks i'm drawing the basic diagram right the basic diagram all shells are racks all racks are not replaceable all racks are not see this is called a this is like a universal negative statement right all racks all a's are not b's this is a universal negative statement what is the particular negative statement we have discussed about particular negative in our videos right some a's are not b's some a's are not b's particular negative right all a's are not b's universal all i mean all right this this refers to universe some is particular so how do you draw the diagram for this one all a's are not b's a's and b should not be touching each other i mean it's like this a there should be there should be no overlapping between a and b right how do you draw the second one particular negative one some a's are not b's a here and b here these outside a's are not b's right here all a's are not b's all the a's are not b's all these are not b's so what is the definite conclusion all a's are not b's all a's are not b's means all b's are not a's or no b is a or no a is b yeah we can also say some a's are not b's and some b's are not a's you're getting to understand this all a's are not b's definite conclusion is all b's are not a's or no b is a or no a is b right or some b's are not a's or some a's are not b's all these are correct conclusions for the given statements okay so all shells are racks easy to draw all racks are not replaceable all racks are not replaceable all racks are not replaceable. racks and replaceable will not touch each other racks and replaceable will not touch each other by which shells and replaceable also will not touch each other because racks uh, and, and shells are equal yes or no i mean shells is equal to racks basically all shells are racks means what shells is equal to racks s is equal to rack remember rack is not equal to s but s is equal to rack all shells are racks all shells are racks in fact i i think i should not be drawing this diagram i'm sorry uh, all shells are racks right all shells are racks i'm i'm sorry about this i should be i i what i consider is a possibility i should draw the basic diagram right all shells are racks shells here and racks here all shells are racks sorry about this yeah all shells are racks all shells are racks so all the shells are racks but not all the racks are shells so all shells are racks all racks are not replaceable means no rack is a replaceable basically yeah universal negative now look at the conclusions some shells are not replaceable some shells are not replaceable true or false true see replaceable cannot touch racks how will replaceable touch shells or how will shells touch replaceable not possible so some shells are not replaceable is true in fact all the shells are not replaceable strictly speaking all the shells are not replaceable but we can also say some shells are not replaceable some replaceable are racks some replaceable are racks no not not possible at all all racks are not replaceable so no replaceable is a rack if no replaceable is a rack how can you say some replaceable racks this is incorrect so conclusion number one follows conclusion two does not follow only one follows you're getting it some shells are not replaceable some shells are not replaceable true some shells are not replaceable so remember don't don't get confused that all shells are not replaceable when all shells are not replaceable i can also say some shells are not replaceable i can i can pick up some of these shells and say these shells are not replaceable try and understand many of you who have marked one as wrong conclusion one as wrong are assuming that the answer is all shells are not replaceable and that is why some shells are not replaceable is incorrect remember if all shells are not replaceable i can say some of the shells these shells i can say these shells are not replaceable some of these shells these are some of the shells right these are not replaceable it's like that popular uh, very easy to understand example that i gave you last time right i have 1000 rupees you have asked me do you have 200 rupees what should be my answer think about it in that direction statements all stars are black holes all stars are not planets some stars are luminescent so draw the diagram for this one all stars are black holes all stars are black holes so let's say stars here all of these stars are black holes all the stars are black holes okay all stars are not planets all stars are not planets means what planets and stars will not touch each other right the universal negative statement that we talked about so all stars are black holes all stars are not planets some stars are luminescent some stars are luminescent so we can say this is luminescent right some stars you see these stars are luminescent some stars are luminescent so this is the basic diagram 
This is the basic diagram for the given set of statements. All stars are black holes. All stars are not planets. Some stars are luminescent. Now look at the conclusion. The first conclusion. Some planets are not luminescent. Some planets are not luminescent. If I look at the basic diagram, yes, some planets are not luminescent. Actually, all the planets are not luminescent, but I can say, yeah, some of these planets are not luminescent. So this conclusion clears the basic diagram. The first conclusion follows the basic diagram. But just because it follows the basic diagram, can you mark it as true? No. You have to check all the possible diagrams. So let me draw a possible diagram for this one. Let me draw a possible diagram for the given set of statements. Right? All stars are black holes. I mean, I think we will only have to treat planets differently because the conclusions are only about planets and luminescent. If you see, in fact, the second conclusion is also about planets and luminescent. So let's only try to draw possible diagrams in such a way that we are uh, interfering, with, interfering with planets and luminescents. Whether we change stars and black holes doesn't really matter there, right? So all stars are uh, black holes, right? Uh, all stars are not planets. All stars are not planets. So all stars are not planets. And uh, some stars are luminescent. Some stars are luminescent. I can draw some stars are luminescent in this fashion. This is luminescent. Yeah. So see, some stars are luminescent. Did we violate any of the statements? No. Both in the possible and the basic diagram, we have not violated any of the statements, right? Look at the statements again. All stars are black holes. All the stars are black holes. All stars are not planets. All the stars are not planets. Some stars are luminescent. Some stars are still luminescent. Now, look at the conclusion. Let's look at conclusion number one. In fact, both of these are forming a complementary pair, right? Some planets are not luminescent. All planets are luminescent. This is like a complementary pair, right? The second complementary pair. There are two complementary pairs. What are the complementary pairs? All A's are B's. Some A's are not B's. Another complementary pair is some A's are B's, no A is B. So this is like the one of the complementary pairs. All A's are B's and some A's are not B's. It's a complementary pair. Yeah. So since this is a complementary pair, we have to treat it properly. If you want to learn more about complementary pairs, please refer to our videos on syllogism. Complementary pair, right? One of the complementary pairs. All A's are B, some A's are not B's. So what we'll do is we'll check both the conclusions in basic as well as possible diagram. So conclusion number one, some planets are not luminescent. Some planets are not luminescent. Yes, follows the basic diagram. But it fails in the second possible diagram. You see, it fails in the possible diagram. All, some planets are not luminescent. Which planets are not luminescent? All the planets have become luminescent. If all the planets have become luminescent, some planets are not luminescent becomes false. So the point is, I mean, if I have to draw, uh, you know, if I have to, if you have to explain this to you, like how complementary pairs behave, let's say this is a basic diagram B and this is a possible diagram P. Conclusion number one, some planets are not luminescent. Some planets are not luminescent. Yes, it satisfies the basic diagram, but it fails in the possible diagram. Some planets are not luminescent. Which planets are not luminescent? All the planets are luminescent. If all the planets are luminescent, how can you say some planets are not luminescent? Look at second conclusion. All planets are luminescent. All planets are luminescent. It fails the basic diagram. All planets are luminescent. It fails in the basic diagram. But all planets are luminescent, clears the possible diagram. So the point is, if one conclusion is true, the other one is false. You see, first one is true, second one is false in the basic diagram. In the possible diagram, the first one is false, but the second one is true. Yeah. So this is behaving like a complementary pair and hence your answer should be either one or two follows. Either one or two follows. This is an either or case, complementary pair case. Yeah. So the final answer should be either one or two follows. Either one or two follows. Either one or two follows. Okay.